Right now, I'm standing in the Louisville Slugger Museum's latest exhibit. It's Retro Bits and Baseball Hits, and it takes guests on a journey from the earliest games to modern simulations. I'm very it might feel odd to walk through a museum and see a collection of video games, but that is exactly what the new Retro Bits and Baseball Hits exhibit is. And Louisville Slugger Museum's Andrew Soliday thinks there is a very good reason for it. This is a really fun way for people to come and experience just generate different generations of video game systems and those baseball games that we have so many memories attached to. The exhibit features 13 stations featuring different historic video game consoles from the NES to the Nintendo Switch. Soliday says the whole idea of exploring the past 30 plus years of baseball video games is to connect generations of fans to the real thing. When you go across into the main gallery and you hold those bats of those different generational players, it's the same level of connection and memories that you're kind of ascribing to the video game. And while they may not be real baseball, Soliday thinks that doesn't mean video games are not a key part of the tapestry that is the national pastime. Drawing that connection that we all have in one form or another to the sport of baseball, Americana, and just the nostalgia that's attached to it. Now, if you're not a baseball fan, and don't worry, the museum still has something for you. They have a full stand-up arcade of Galaga and Ms. Pac-Man. In downtown Louisville, Sam Carter, WLKY News. Thank you.